First and foremost, we have to recognize that women have an absolutely critical role to play uh, if Afghanistan is going to be stabilized, prosperous, uh, and peaceful. We have been out of scene for a long time, and, and the 30 years of conflict has really badly affected us. Um, but however, it's also important to focus like women were not just silent observer all that period and they have gained special experiences um, by working and supporting their families and they know how better to contribute to the stability of the country, to the economics of the country, um, to the development of the country. This is a very, um, a very critical uh, transition but it's also a very a golden opportunity. Women have learned. Uh, women have oppressed, but they have learned how to how to how to stand firm. They have ideas. They have. Uh, they are great politicians. If the peace is not coming without women participations, the justice is not coming without women participations. The financials uh, and all the financial support and the economy situation, if you want to better the economy situation, without the women participating is, 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 is not complete. As far as the men are important in, in, in Afghanistan, women also are important in Afghanistan. So Afghanistan is a war country and we have experienced several years war and we have lost the majority of our resource in Afghanistan. And for rehabilitation of Afghanistan, we need help for, from men and for women. And 50% of the human capital in Afghanistan are women. And if they are not brought into the social, economic and political processes, you are actually ruining part of your human capital. And that human capital is so much needed in Afghanistan. You know, so much happens through experience, and when there's positive experience, obviously men who may have not thought their women should uh, play a role uh, in starting a business become very proud of the role their wives are playing. They've got income in their families that they didn't have before. Their life is better in every way. I was so um, inspired because a lot of women were doing things. They were going to work, they, had, they were doing internships, my cousins, they were finishing their master's degrees and they were trying to find work and jobs. And I, I met a lot of very um, courage, uh, courageous uh, young Afghan students, the law faculty, who, who had ideas, who had ideals. I think education is the uh, fundamental a starting point for any progress that's going to be there. Um, it's education in all of its areas. It's not just literacy, um, but it's uh, health education. Um, it is training in uh, improved practices for women who want to be entrepreneurs, women in the agrarian economy. It's education writ large, uh, starting at the earliest age and continuing um, through other uh, kinds of professional development. The basis for women participation is on the basis of democracy, and that's not yet contradicted uh, uh, by even those conservative movements. Uh, or they can at least not publicly uh, be against uh, women participation. There's so much more to do talking about gender, talking about empowering women in Afghanistan, because there are so many strong women in Afghanistan. I've seen it myself. I talk to them a lot, we should reach out to them more, we should, you know, emphasize that their participation in, is so important. Having a focus on gender and women's issues, I think, highlights the gaps that we still need to fill in our approach to the Afghan government and our, Afghan, our, our engagement in Afghanistan. So, so to me, this lens of women also helps to sort of highlight other shortcomings or challenges that we still face in Afghanistan. So it's not just about the women, it's about all of Afghans being able to live in a, in a better, more equitable society. My hope for the future, it's that all of these incredibly strong, brave women who've survived things that would have made me hide under my bed, actually get to build the country they dream of in their heads.